Welcome to Celeb Parlor News. Would you like us to always update you about your favorite celebrity? Then, subscribe to get more of our updates every day. DMX and Jay-Z were two of the biggest rap stars of the late 1990s and early 2000s. However, the relationship between the two artists grew increasingly contentious over the years, leading DMX to eventually lose respect for Jay-Z. In a 2003 interview, DMX cited Jay-Z's business dealings as a major point of contention. DMX accused Jay-Z of exploiting up-and-coming rappers, saying he get people that don't know any better. He get people that's trina get in the game. He get people that's broke. And he manipulate them. And I have a problem with that. DMX felt that Jay-Z's label Rocka, Fella Records was taking advantage of young artists who were desperate for a record deal, locking them into unfavorable contracts. This rubbed DMX the wrong way, as he believed Jay-Z was more concerned with profits than helping develop artists. Personal issues also contributed to the deterioration of their relationship. In a 2012 interview, DMX revealed that he and Jay-Z had a physical altercation at an industry party in the early 2000s. DMX said the fight started over a disagreement about who was the better rapper, beyond the business and personal disputes. DMX also criticized what he saw as a shift in Jay-Z's artistic approach. As Jay-Z's fame and commercial success grew, DMX felt he abandoned the gritty, street-oriented sound that defined his early work. DMX believed Jay-Z had become too focused on courting the mainstream and making radio music. Ultimately, the culmination of these factors, the business practices, the personal beef, and the artistic shift led DMX to lose respect for his one-time peer. DMX felt Jay-Z had strayed too far from the authenticity that initially drew him to hip-hop culture. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe for more entertaining updates.